doing well. Welcome to Lois's Kitchen where we make mouth-watering delicacies with you in mind. Now a few days back I shared with you a recipe titled cumin rice. If you haven't watched that video please be sure to watch it. It's a very very interesting, yummy, amazing recipe and I'll be sharing with you more rice recipes and the picture that you're going to be seeing right here or a video clip is about that particular video. I'm also going to be attaching the link right below in the description box that is just very easy for you to click right after you finish watching this video and you're going to watch it. For today, I'm going to be showing you how I use my fireless basket cooker. It's a very simple method. All you have to do is to make sure that you retain all the heat in the basket. It's going to save you a lot, I again stress, a lot, a lot of time, a lot of energy and money. Guys, I used to use charcoal for a long period of time. Currently, I've had it for about eight years, but I started using it fully and efficiently for about since three years back. And I'm sure if you do have it, you're probably not fully utilizing it. And if you are, thumbs up to you. So I'm going to show you in this video how I normally use it. And this is the basket. Here it is. And I'm going to be showing you how it looks like inside so that you can be able to see it. my fireless cooker this is the lid which is well woven it's really it's heavy actually then this is the basket I got it in Tusky's supermarket but I believe these baskets are still available in other well stocked supermarkets this is one of the biggest but I think there's another size that's bigger than this so if you're getting your basket, I'd advise you to get the biggest you can get because like currently I'm able to put two big uh, pans or sufurias in it. Uh, one sometimes I can put maize and beans or whatever other cereals. I can boil two different kinds of cereals in it at the same time. Then usually I had um, someone make for me this these covers which help in cleaning because you know you can't clean the basket but at least it helps if there's any spillages or anything I, I am able to wash them and um, and maintain it well remember this is a place where there's usually a lot of heat so you need to keep it well and clean and again you're putting your food so Please maintain your hygiene. Then, after I've put my cloth in it, I usually prefer to use either, this is a senior, I don't know what it's called in English, uh, but it's, an, it's more of an aluminium lid. So I prefer to use it, just placing it there because it's able to, to fit in well and get the pan right in it then I use a cloth on the bottom side then that's when I place my pan inside and now cover it you can boil any kind of cereals guys the time is all that will differ so you can boil your black beans or jahez you can boil mung beans which I made if you haven't watched that please I'll be putting a picture here or a video and I'll be putting the link down below in the description box. You can boil beans like we're going to be doing today, rice, you can even cook a whole meal. Once you've finished cooking on your pan and you've put everything together, you can finish the process in your fireless basket. So we're going to be doing that right now and then I'm going to show you how I use it from start to the end. Okay. 
guys i've already boiled this water so i'm going to and i'm boiling some more and I'm, so i'm going to put my beans inside i want the beans to get to a boiling point where it actually rumbles and boils eh? then when it does that that's when i'm going to move it to my basket please ensure that um when you're boiling your cereals you've it's they are well covered with water and extra water because they usually take up a lot of water just the usual ways and for this particular beans i had soaked them overnight in water so already the time that i'm going to take to boil them will be less so soaking your cereals really helps that's also a tip you guys can use when you're, when you're cooking your cereals i'm just going to finish this up add some more water and then let it get to a boiling point Let me cover and once it starts boiling, um, you guys will join us for the next step. So let's cover this. Guys, as you can see, the beans are boiling. This is the boiling point I wanted it to reach. So now... I'm going to cover this up, put off the fire, and transfer our sulfuria to the fireless cooker. So let's go there. guys our beans are ready it's been about six and a half hours and uh, i've not yet drained the water i've just picked it from the fireless cooker i want to show you guys what the beans look like As you can see, they are well cooked and you can easily mash them. You can see, they can easily get mashed. So I'm going to drain my beans off from the water that I've boiled them in. And then I'm going to dry them, let them cool down and then store them in smaller packages in my freezer. So that I can be able to use them over the week. If you want uh, to boil them faster, because this took about six hours, um, you can soak as I soaked them. Usually, just the same way you, you prepare your cereals or whatever you're boiling, prepare them. Boil them like I did the first boil. Put them in your fireless cooker, then put them there for about one and a half hours to two hours. 
take them out check if they still have a bite and they are not ready again return them to the fire boil until remember they are hot it's just that the the heat has reduced a little bit boil them again until they're rumbling return them in your fireless cooker and within 30 to 45 minutes sometimes an hour depending on what you're boiling uh, within three hours maximum in total what you're preparing should be ready sometimes i come from work and do this and my dinner is ready within a short time so i hope you guys are going to try this if you've been using your fireless cooker just to keep food warm please utilize it to the full that you can also an advantage of a fireless cooker is it's, a no, it's not an open fire so it's safe to use there's no emission of any fumes it's a clean source of fire to use as well so you your pan your sufferers won't have soot it's it's really a convenient mode of cooking so please write down in the comment section if you have a fireless cooker if you've been using one and what your take is on this video i'll be checking in the markets the current market rates the last time i checked the basket i bought was about 1500 so you can budget around that but it could be slightly higher than that and i'm sure it's going to be in the long run i say for you guys it's been amazing hosting you guys thank you for watching our content and remember if you're new here thank you for joining us please remember to click the subscribe button right below the description box here this is Lois's kitchen signing out bye